Fifty-five years female came with the complaining of left loin pain since three months on and off. So, uh, yeah, please tell me about the onset and uh, during uh, onset intensity and severity of the pain. Whether it is radiating to anywhere, whether it is associated with any aggravating or relieving factors, and any other associated symptoms she has. Is a, a patient is having pain since three months on and off, which is sudden in onset, radiating to loin to groin, mm -hmm. and, uh, which is intermittent and relieved by taking medication, okay. associated with vomiting, sir. Associated with vomiting. So <laughs> she has taken uh, uh, painkillers for the relief of the symptoms, right? because she is having relief in between, right? Yes. Okay. So any other associated symptoms like... Uh, she is having fever, whether she is having hematuria, any lithuria history, any, or pyuria history, or she is having uh, any suprapubic pain, she is having burning micturition history, she is any uh, past uh, endo-uro intervention or any surgical history she is having, or any other comorbidities, can you please tell me? Yes. Hey, Kamlesh. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you asked everything possible, I think. You go slow, na? Yes, ma'am. Yes, you want to you want to characterize your thing first, means starting from comorbidities will be too much, right? Yes, ma'am. That is going into past history or medical history, even surgical history. First, characterize you. You asked about the pain, then ask about associated uh, symptoms because it is flank pain, so related to the flank or the lower tract. Ma'am, uh, I inquired about. If you ask everything, then what can that person also tell you? Now you are asking about surgical history, medical history, past history, all in one go. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> No history of fever, or hematuria, lithuria. No history of urinary tract infection. No history of bowel disturbances. Okay. Any uh, associated uh, lower urinary tract uh, symptoms? Ah, uh, no. Okay. So, uh, any uh, surgical history, past surgical history? Are any? Yes. Don't you want to ask for lump in abdomen? Means you're not pres finished presenting history. Ma'am. Uh, Don't you want to ask for loss of weight, appetite? All these things you finish now go systematically. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yes, ma'am. Go one by one. Any uh, history regarding loss of appetite, weight loss, no. or no, any, any lump in the abdomen? No, sir. What else do you want to know? Related to presenting complaint of flank pain. Ma'am, uh, uh, any fever uh, history has been. Ma'am, uh, Everything is covered because he has written that no history of bowel disturbances also. So okay, that is, uh, that is also covered, ma'am. Uh -huh. So now I would uh, like to know whether any any kind of endo uro intervention in the past or any any other. Why are you worried about endo endo urological yeah. You think that is a cause of the left line pain, eh? Yeah, you're asking a lot of questions on the quality of the endo urologists in this country. Eh? Okay. No, so just to complete the history, history part, 
I just to complete the history part, I was uh, asking about any kind of intervention, whether she underwent any intervention or not. Oh, yeah. You were specific complaints about endourology, sir. I thought you know you were you have something against endourologists. <laughs> any intervention, no? It doesn't have to be endourology. Yes, sir. Any intervention. Okay. Any intervention? No. Yes, sir. No. She's a known case of CA cervix stage 2A, diagnosed in 2015. Later, she had a chemo radiotherapy and is on regular follow-up with the oncologist with the MRA, yearly MRI. Uh -huh. um, in the history of left ER, SLPS violated BJ stenting, but were right ESWL for the left lower uterine calculus and right renal calculus in July 2018. So she was diagnosed with CA cervix. Yes. So can you, can I know uh, regarding uh, uh, what kind of radiotherapy she received? Whether it was uh, external beam radiotherapies. External beam radio. And how many cycles she received? For two months, uh, eight cycles. She had a full course, full standard course. regime. I mean, now it's all standard. She had, she didn't default. This, the radio oncologist didn't default. She completed her treatment. Okay, sir. So and. Uh, I would also like to know regarding the left URSL, that uh, where was the stone, how, how big was the stone, what was the, whether it was impacted, uh, for how many days the tent was kept, whether any atogenic injury at that time happened, I would like to know regarding uh, left URSL. No, no. Uh, there's no history of any records are not available. So it was done outside. Yes. So when there is a CA survey, okay, 2015, that is almost six years ago, received radiotherapy. What are your concerns in regarding to urological problems? Ma'am, no. What happens in such patients? Ma'am, uh, she can uh, uh, develop uh, later, uh, bladder bladder related uh, problems. She can also okay develop... bladder related problems. What else? She can also end up with uh, 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 lower ureteric, uh, uh, radiation induced lower ureteric fibrosis or any kind of. Uh, so obstructive uropathy. Obstructive uropathy, yes, ma'am. Okay. What else? What else happens? The recurrence. Yes, sir. Uh, recurrence. Uh, and recurrence uh, occurs. It can involve the lower, uh, uh, it can involve the VUJ and can cause obstructive uropathy. And. Uh, no, no, they got to urology. First you complete urology, then go to gynecology. Okay. What else have you seen or heard or read about in yes, CS service patient? We have, we have post treatment. This is post treatment, okay? Yes, sir. Post, post treatment. treatment. Radiotherapy. Ma'am, radiation cystitis can occur. bladder by... ureter. What else is remaining? Bladder ureter and uh, urethra, ma'am. Uh, and females, vagina, related to urological part, ma'am, urethra is uh, urethra and, uh, uh, but what else can happen? Have you not heard of VVS happening? Yes, ma'am, fistulas, fistulas, yes. fistulas and ma'am, uh, radiation cystitis, but the uh, fistulas, radiation cystitis, yeah, obstruction. Yes. So, ask your history in relation to this first. Then go about URS because URS is relatively a minor thing na? in comparison to CA cervix and radiotherapy. She is more likely to have problems related to that because now is the time, six years later. Okay. Um, actually, he told in the history that she is not having any kind of uh, lower urinary tract symptoms and she is also not having any kind of uh, hematuria in the past. So, uh, if the lower urinary tract symptoms are and hematuria is not there, then uh, bladder related issues are uh, mostly not yeah. present and also she also uh, has, has she complained any Kamlesh, any Kamlesh. Kamlesh. there's a very nice word in english called unlikely okay sir unlikely yes. you are saying not present you say unlikely you are right in what you said the, the, the symptoms are not there it's unlikely that the bladder is involved okay sir it's a more diplomatic way yes Is she having any uh, uh, 
she having any she had obstructive uropathy what is the uh, what is the other history you would like to know ma'am i would like to know whether she developed uh, bilateral pedal edema she developed uh, facial puffiness the features of uh, uh, renal insufficiency yes uh, features of renal insufficiency and and uh, and go and whether she was uh, being admitted for that or she uh, she took any kind or of she underwent any diversion procedure for that right so yes. these are more important things rather than your urs this is all i am trying to tell you nothing else yes, you uh, talk does, about urs amle <laughs> how does renal failure occur in somebody who is at radiation for ca service he said no obstructive uropathy and renal failure how does it occur Sir, if it is a yeah, normal people, these are all normal people when they go for treatment. How how do they get this problem? Sir, uh, uh, if uh, bile, if the if the CA cervix is uh, is stage three, it is involving bilateral uh, view. Uh, all right. Was obstructive uropathy, then patient can land up in uh, uh, can have renal insufficiency, sir. All right, that is a patient who is fresh who has not been treated. Yes, sir. And okay. Any other way? Any other mechanism for renal failure? Uh, and sir, chemo chemotherapy induced uh, uh, chemotherapy induced uh, renal insufficiency can occur. Due to what? Chemotherapy induced how? Which drug? Cis platinum induced. Sir. But these fellows are uh, very careful, no? Oncologists they look at the GFR and give only. If it's not necessary, they won't give. They'll give carboplatin. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That is parenchymal disease. It's not obstructive uropathy. Yes. How will you get obstructive uropathy? One, I you said correctly. Yes, the stage of the disease may be such. But these are all. This patient is not being treated. What happens if the patient is treated? How can you get obstructive uropathy as a consequence of treatment? Sir, uh, uh, if the radiation involves, because if external beam radiotherapy is being given, then okay. it can involve the lower ureter, and it can cause uh, uh, ischemia and fibrosis at that site. It can lead to uh, bilateral uh, ureteral obstruction, and which can develop obstructive uropathy later on. Sir. All right. Okay. Any other any other mechanism? Other than uh, parenchymal disease. No, no, obstructive uropathy. You're talking obstructive uropathy. Sir, uh, uh, she has a history of. Uh, I mean, this patient, she has a history of uh, URSL. Uh, so. No, it's not. Chodo, yar. You have to URSL ke piche padho, yar. So far, say endovenerology ke piche padho. Tell me, what is the mechanism of obstructive uropathy in this patient? You said no. You only said obstructive uropathy. I'm asking you that. So far, you give me two correct reasons. One of them is pre-treatment. What are the other mechanisms of obstructive uropathy in patients with treated for CA service? Sir, uh, recurrent. Is there only one treatment available for CA service? Yeah. Only one treatment available. No. I mean, the according no. to the. No, no, no. I didn't ask what stage. I'm just saying how are the mechanisms. Any other mechanism of treatment which can result in obstructive uropathy? Sir, uh, if uh, uh, operation, if if she underwent uh, total abdominal hysterectomy and uh, uh, total abdominal the operation called man. total abdominal hysterectomy done for fibroid or uh, CA surgery, some other operation is done. Sir, so, preclectomy is done. Huh? What? Preclectomy. What? रेक्टोमिंग You are talking of obstructive uropathy, man. Why are you? How will you test the cervix if you get obstructive uropathy? What other treatment is there for CA cervix that can result in obstructive uropathy? 
You are right. Mistake to me. But I am asking you what type of mistake to me it is. Ah, uh, sub subtotal mistake. Hey, boy. You want to subtotal mistake to me for CA cervix? Are what is the name of the surgery which is done for CA cervix? Ah. Uh, what hysterectomy is done starts with w vertex hysterectomy is done yes sir have you heard of vertex hysterectomy no no sir. have you heard of that have you heard of that operation sir uh, pardon me sir i cannot hear word vertex vertex hysterectomy have you heard of vertex hysterectomy no sir no are you going क्वेश्चन <laughs> 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 Find out about how was that mastectomy can cause obstructive urethral. Yes, sir. Apart from this, any other conse any other consequence of treatment which can result in obstructive urethral. Some other mechanism is there in CA cervix. Apart from radiation induced urethric stricture, one time mastectomy induced obstructive urethral. Radiation does something else to the bladder, isn't it? Huh? Are you asking? Yes, sir. Yes, what does the radiation do to the bladder? Sir, it will cause uh, 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 thickening and uh, non-compliant, non-compliant. But, but what happens as a result of that? It will cause uh, VUJ edema or uh, uh, VUJ edema. No, yeah, yeah, not VUJ edema. <laughs> Due to obstruction, sir, uh, because of due to obstruction, because of thick end and uh, trabeculations and everything, sir, it will cause. No, 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 no. You are using a lot of words without properly understanding the meaning. You said compliance, then you said due to edema, then you said thickening, then you said uh, trabeculation. Huh? One thing you must remember, generally speaking. is just you know it's very useful to understand the generalizations go down to basics the bladder is an elastic organ once the elasticity is replaced by whatever rubbish is there in the world yeah collagen there is there anything that elasticity goes once the elasticity of the bladder goes two things result from it one is you cannot hold urine so you can be incontinent now whole bladder is like one india rubber ball that's all with a hole outside which is the urethra it will just bleed the second consequence of that is it may not leak but it may hold some urine but under high pressure and that high pressure will reflect on the upper tracts over time so this is loss of compliance is a very serious consequence of radiotherapy okay and this is something that you must remember and doesn't happen immediately it can happen after 5 years 10 years 15 years 20 years so you will any patient who that ca cervix any time in the world any time in their life with radiotherapy bladder must be looked at you must specifically ask for history and you must specifically look for this problem because there will be subtle changes in these patients that you can miss them they all land up suddenly one day with renal failure okay then you be dancing so this is a serious complaint please go and read up huh? yes sir i wanted to know if you guys started off very nicely all fat 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 pucha question and then suddenly Yes, out of here. What happened? Find out. You know, we will be upfront on all these things. Anyway, carry on. General examination. General examination and is a a thing significant. So now I would like to uh, have the invest blood investigation. In the blood investigation. Uh, uh, What is your diagnosis? 
मैम फिफ्टी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल हैविंग कंप्लेन ऑफ लेफ्ट साइडेड फ्लैंक पेन सिंस थ्री मंथ्स ऑफ ड्यूरेशन एंड विद पास्ट हिस्ट्री ऑफ कीमो रेडियोथेरेपी फॉर सी ए सर्विक्स ट्रीटेड एंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ लेफ्ट यू आर एच एल माई प्रोबेबल डायग्नोसिस आर रिकरेंट स्टोन रिकरेंट यूरेट्रिक कैलकुलस रीनल कैलकुलस और रेडियोथेरेपी इंड्यूस लेफ्ट साइडेड और रिकरेंस ऑफ सी ए सर्विक्स कॉजिंग लेफ्ट साइडेड कीपिंग कीपिंग या प्रोविजनल डायग्नोसिस इन माइंड ऑर्डर इन्वेस्टिगेशन like to know the blood investigations i would like uh, from, from the blood investigation complete blood count uh, renal function test in that i would like to know serum creatinine yes. so so the investigation sir uh. urine uh, urine examination urine routine micro and uh, mm. urine routine micro is 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 she having any kind of uh, urine exam so the urine exam significant uh, is rbc is 6 to 8 like our field yeah bacteria present <laughs> culture is culture is no growth culture no growth sir uh, i would like to proceed with uh, ultrasound uh, abdomen plus pelvis no your first diagnosis was stone no yes sir why you don't attack the stone directly by doing ct sir she is having uh, so many uh, Uh, she is having uh, radiation induced history uh, so she is having chemo radiotherapy therapy for ca cervix i would like to also know that whether any uh, pelvic uh, problems are there or not sir so that's uh, the ct scan will tell you everything yeah okay sir one shot one investigation फटाफट creatinine is normal i will go with see uh, contrast enhance uh, computed tomography of abdomen plus pelvis with uh, delayed pain you don't want ultrasound you change No, no, yeah, we changed because I suggested, or you really think now that CT is the best investigation in this patient? Sir, uh, I, I would proceed with ultrasonography to look for any other features, but uh, huh? if the creat is normal and uh, uh, we can have then CECT because we are thinking in that uh, that pattern only because we are thinking in strict in terms of stone in terms of picture, so. I I do realize that uh, our style of examinations has to move to a higher level and on a better frame. But uh, there is nothing wrong in saying that I want to do a CT scan for this lady with contrast with creatinine normal. And I think the world over they will do that in the first because I, it's it's like saying I have got some CT stuff in the old car. I will only use that. Better thing happen in life. You you want to do investigation till to all birds with one stone. So is there contrast that you put normal creatinine? I can understand when the creatinine is abnormal. Go ahead. But one shot CT with contrast, photo, everything. Huh? This patient has come for definitely management, right? She is a known case of a malignancy. an ultrasound will be relatively unnecessary uh, combination this aspect because again after ultrasound you tell me won't you go back and order the ct scan yes ma'am or if creat is not normal you will order some other investigation which is going to tell you information about this malignancy the problems it had caused and the oh, stone that's, that's why i said the fault from yeah. the public complaint the fault is in our system Yeah, yeah. It is thought, sir, that ultrasound is necessary. Yeah, nothing. You do. You say that. I mean, nobody can argue with you, Kamlesh. If you stand your ground, that's what yeah. we're telling you. Stand your ground. Don't care. Oh, you say I will do this for this reason. 
if you tell me to ultrasound, I will go back and ask for CT scan. So I will say, well, you, you know, just stand your ground. Don't feel scared. Right, carry on. They so, came with USG reports. Ah, uh, patient came with USG. So, uh, in this film, uh, one side, the uh, left side uh, to uh, it is the kidney picture, and the right side is bladder. And, uh, kidney which is shown here is having moderate, uh, it is moderately dilated. It is moderately dilated with, I can see the ureter also, some part of the ureter also is dilated. But the, uh, the cort uh, corticomedullary uh, thickness I cannot comment upon. And uh, but the parenchymal thickness is good. It's not, uh, it is not very thin. What I can see from the, uh, uh, this sonography picture and the bladder, uh, Bladder is uh, uh, somewhat lower, what uh, is thick walled, and uh, it is not uh, much distended. It's uh, up in between, and uh, and it is also not uh, fully uh, fully uh, 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 well regularly distended. It is distended uh, at the dome side, but not very much distended in the lateral and the lower side. Don't make too much of generalizations, uh, just say what is there. Too much of distension on the lateral side, more distension on the dome side. Yeah, just an ultrasound. That right? looks normal, abnormal. What do you think about the size? What do you think about the Abnormality is there, sir. Uh, in both, uh, you can you say what is that? Is the ball thickened? Is there some intraluminal lesion? If you think the bladder is small in size, you say bladder is small in size. Whatever that is, no? is there any ureteric dilatation, lower ureteric dilatation? That's important, no? Because you said that there is dilatation in your left side. You want to know whether it's all the way down? Yes. Uh, these are things that are more important. So, uh, so now what do you do? But I will uh, go with, uh, I will do a... Don't rule out. Yes, sir. No, sir. It, in this picture, uh, we cannot say, sir. Uh, full. Uh, ah, full no, sir. Rule out. Tony is still somewhere sitting. You don't know. Yes, sir. We cannot rule out completely with this picture, sir. So now what do you do? K U B. No, sir. I will go with uh, contrast in a CT abdomen plus space base, sir. Okay. With the delayed. Can you do N C C T or you will just say go straight for contrast? No, sir. I will go straight with the contrast. We will go straight with contrast. Then you will miss the stone, no? Sir, uh, plain films, uh, plain, they will take a scout film. I mean, they will take a... <laughs> you have to them, man. You can't. When you take the, See, they have what is called a topograph. This they will take the whole thing and leave it. You may miss something. You will have to do a run of that. You have to do a non-contrast. You to see where this ureter is ending, where it is dilated, whether it is stone there, something. Then you do with contrast. Paisa vasul karo, yaar. Yes, sir. Ah, yes, see, poor lady has paid 6,000 rupees, man. Get the whole thing done. What is your problem? The machine is there. The machine is there. You pay for it. It runs it. They are not charging for each slice. What do you say, sir? Bobby, sir? They are not charging you for each slice. They are charging you for the whole procedure. Get mileage out of it. <laughs> Ah, okay. Please proceed. Please proceed. Next slide. Next slide. 
die van die moeilijke leven die die dokters van die. Next slide please. Next slide, please. Next slide. Do we have delayed exam cards? These are the ones. Previous one? Next. So, in this uh, CCT A plus T, uh, please keep that slide. Uh, right sided kidney appears to be normal. Left sided kidney is showing uh, moderate. Mod, my moderate size, uh, moderate size uh, hydro hydronephrosis with hydrourea. Uh, there is a, a narrowing uh, present in the ureter at the level of uh, SI joint, uh, sacroiliac joint, and the contrast is going below it also. So there, there appears to be approximately 2 to 2.5 centimeter size uh, ureteric, mid, uh, mid, mostly mid ureteric structure. That is mid ureter? Sir, at the, means it is looking like, sir, but, uh, SI, S2, S3, <laughs> mostly, sir, it will go below the SI point, so it will be. Uh, oh, how can it be mid ureteric? So it will be, sir, lower ureteric structure. Ah, so go to the lower ureteric structure. The lower ureteric structure. Yes, sir. You have forgotten the first diagnosis. You have, what is your first diagnosis? You didn't mention calculus, no? Uh, actually, one. Are you about stone? Sir, one, one, uh, one cut is showing a very small uh, uh, radio density in the plain, uh, plain film, sir. Sir, hmm. uh, but uh, it is very hard to make it out whether there, there is a stone or not. There is a there is some some uh, some radio density uh, present uh, at that level only at the level of structure only sir just above the structure. Level. Yeah. Uh, as, uh, bladder is uh, uh, right side normal right side ureter is also normal. Right side. So from this picture uh, from this CT scan it is uh, most probably the, diagn the diagnosis is left sided uh, lower ureteric structure. At the level of uh, S2 and S3, approximately uh, one point, uh, one, approximately two centimeters also. So, what do you think is the cause of this picture? Sir, uh, this is a partial, uh, uh, partially, uh, uh, partial structure only because the contrast is uh, reaching below. Uh, so it might be that uh, with the uh, uh, that URS history at that time there might be a stone impaction at that site or there might be an injury which has caused hydrogenic uh, lower ureteric. Okay, so you think that this could be aortogenic? Any other reason? 
any other sir uh, there is no uh, there is no any component of extrinsic uh, extrinsic component sir and uh, i cannot comment upon the wall sir intrinsic uh, uh, extrinsic com component is not there sir so uh, sir if, if if it would be a, a radiotherapy induced uh, fibrosis it would have involved uh, uh, not like this sir it will have involved uh, the whole lower ureteric lower ureteric uh, lower ureter sir completely it would have been a uh, radiotherapy induced picture sir anything else any other reason why you don't think this is radiotherapy induced if there was no evidence of disease if the original stage of ca cervix was such that it was not t3 involving the ureters and all that then invariably radiation induced therapy radiation induced strictures are bilateral yes the bilateral doesn't see doesn't go only on one side you give the whole thing both get the same dose both get the same way all right so it's invariably bilateral and that's why these patients silently go into renal failure one side may be more affected than the other but there is so and that could be one way by which you can say this is maybe this is not radiation induced this may be okay also timelines the very short history recent history of instrumentation stone disease we have no details of that but you know we know that uh, the commonest cause of ureteral injury today is still endoureteral the stats are showing that endoureological procedures are still the commonest cause followed by uh, laparoscopic procedures for gynecological conditions so, yeah, this is not so Whether you like it or not, the ureter does get damaged by all this. Yes, so how will you rule out that this may be due to CS cervix? Sir, uh, what is that? Most people, most of these guys do all these uh, gynae oncologists. They do this test for them, especially CS cervix. All of them. <coughs> ऑपरेशन दैट यू डू माइट डिपेंड ऑन दैट If the patient has got disease locally there, which is very, you know, just focus. The CT or MRI would have shown that there is something else around it, isn't it? Huh? Or there will be some disease somewhere else. So you have to think carefully. The extent of what you do will depend on the nature of the disease. You might choose if there is disease there to stent her and give her chemotherapy or give some other treatment, and rather than do an operation for her, because if there is disease recurrence after six years, the outcome is poor. It's important to know this. Yes, sir. Anyway, so what do we do now? There is no evidence of disease. Yes, sir. There is no evidence of the original CA cervix, and she's got the stricture in the ureter. Sir. Uh... Is, uh, I would like to know about the functional status, but uh, it is seems that uh, kidney is functioning. Uh, functional status of the kidney. Yes, sir. Functioning, yeah. The excreting contrast and all that nicely. Then what is your doubt? Yes, sir. You said no. It is going even beyond the stricture. It is going some contrast. Sir, uh, uh, if the patient is, uh, if the patient is uh, fit for surgery. she has no any contraindications for uh, uh, anesthesia and uh, she is fit for surgery uh, I, i would like to go for uh, i would i would like to suggest her the options uh, for the management uh, uh, she can go with the uh, surgery what will be your option what will be your first choice of treatment 
Because many patients, you give them all these 10 reasons, 10, 10, 10 choices, they will turn around and tell you, what do you feel, doctor? You have to, in your, in your mind, decide as to what do you think in I your head. Sir, I would like to uh, know the status of the lower lower ureter where, where, the, where the contrast is going. I would like to do uh, a, 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 a ureteroscopy. If, if it is in... Uh, uh, if it is in... Uh, or any uh, retrograde pilography to... Ah, retrograde was done. To confirm the... Okay, was done. Retrograde was done. In the cystoscopy, what do you expect to find? What And what are the things you are looking for, shall we say? What are the things you want to do in the cystoscopy? Sir, uh, in cystoscopy... Do you do cystoscopy under anesthesia or will you do under local? No, sir, I will do under anesthesia. Yes. Yeah, very good. Starting, so what from, starting from the urethra, sir. You see for okay. the urethra. Very nice. Yes. Picture or urethral, any. All right. Okay. And we will see the bladder. Uh, in the bladder, we will see uh, the radiation. If there are any radiation induced changes, like. Uh, how will you How will you make out radiation induced changes in the bladder? Sir, uh, there are uh, new. Uh, there will be hyperemia. There will be extreme. It will be extremely vascular. Sir, the uh, vessels will be seen. Uh, extremely vascular hyperemia will be there. There will be uh, edema uh, present. What is it called? What is that phenomenon called? It's a in these radiation bladders. Sir, what is it called? You may have so, telang, uh, telangiectasia, correct? That is the word. That is telangiectasia. So, apart from this, what else will you see in the bladder? So, ma'am, I uh, will check, I will see for the volume, I will see, uh, see for the any fibrotic areas present. I will see for the, any fistulous opening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Supposing you find bullous edema in the blood, what will be your impression? I see bullous edema in the blood. In the region of the trigone, I see bullous edema. What is your impression? Sir, uh, if there is bullous edema... You have seen, no? you have seen bullous edema no, in the blood? Have you seen? No, sir, I have not seen. Not seen? Yeah. Come back. How can you say you have not seen bullet edema in the blood? Sir, bullet edema will be present in the acute stages, sir. The radiotherapy. Uh -huh. Nobody does copy in the acute stage of radiation. Yes, sir. Well, you have to sit there and see bullet edema in the blood. What is your impression? You know how bullet edema looks, no? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. No, you said you haven't seen, so you won't know. No, no. Anyway, you find out. You find out. Yes. I said, yeah, go to any department. Go. Three, four ladies will be there. See a service. Take a photo. Take a selfie. Take a selfie. Ah, publish. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. See, before CT came, every patient for, of CS cervix used to have a cystoscopy. Before the FIGO fellows staged the disease, cystoscopy was part of the staging program for CS cervix. That's how we all learned cystoscopy. Bullous edema was a characteristic feature where there will be multiple edematous lumps sitting on the trigone. And when you see bullous edema in the bladder, whether it is due to CA cervix or any other pathology, it suggests lymphatic obstruction due to malignancy. It upstages the disease. So, bullous edema sometimes cannot be made out on CT scan. That is why in certain institutions, they still do cystoscopy. 
Okay, so they still do cystoscopy to make sure that there is no bullous edema. So that's what you see at cystoscopy. If there's bullous edema now, six years after training, there is some disease there. So these are the things that you look for. Apart from fistula, this, that, everything. This is important. Okay. So they did RGP and found that the lower unit was all right, but there was a definite picture at the site of the at the site of the uh, what the CT showed, and there was no contrast. We put contrast inside; it's not draining out. The ureter above is dilated and sort of it is mildly tortuous, but not gross. The rest of the ureter looks all right, except that area. Sir, uh, so I will. Right where it goes, ureter catheter goes. Everything goes. Right where it goes, ureter catheter goes. When you do RGU, there is a you know what is trap film, no? On an RGU, you know, have you heard of the word trap film? T R A P, trap film. What is that? So now, have you heard this name, trap film? Is there in the urology books, no? Nowadays, people don't do RGUs and RGPs and all that. I don't know why. But still, these are all important investigations. A trap film is what. The term is used when you put contrast into the collecting system. You take out then the urinary catheter or whatever device you use to instill contrast into the collecting system, and then see whether this contrast drains. It should drain in less than 20 minutes. This is exactly like what your DTPS can show you, isn't it? You give the radio tracer and say 20 minutes. Same thing here. So you give a diuretic load if you want and see what happens. If there is a narrowing, if there is a stricture there, it will not drain. So this is called a trap film. It's a very useful test. We still use it. And in fact, the trap film was done here. It showed that there is no contrast going below the stricture. It is holding up there for a long time. So now what? What will you do now? I will explain about the surgery. Uh, seeing the extent and uh, uh, size of the structure, uh, I will, I will uh, explain about the ureteric re-implant. For this patient, but so what type of ureteric reimplant you will do? So we will tunnel. What would be the problems with reimplantation of the ureter in this patient? Yes, sir. Uh, because the bladder, uh, sir, before the reimplant, uh, uh, I would, I would, uh, because the bladder is not looking, uh, 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 it is not looking normal. So I would like to know about the. I would like to do a cystometrography for this patient to know whether. Uh, the bladders have uh, bladders. Uh, what are Maxilla the broke, yeah. what are the uh, uh, how is urodynamically the bladder sir? What are the very good, very good, very good, very good. It's important. It's not. It's a test that is not usually done. Although the patient doesn't have symptoms, you probably can avoid it. But it's a good way of predicting as to what is likely to happen, so that you can tell the patient. It is important. Some of these changes can be very subtle. The patient may not know. So. Uh, we did do urodynamics on this patient. We did do urodynamics just to be sure that A, as you said, the bladder capacity and B, more importantly, the compliance. Because this is done under local. I the bladder capacity to be conscious that so when you do under GA, you want to get the unconscious bladder, which is telling the true sensibility of the blood. So that is what you have to do. Alright, so we did the CMG and the CMG shows See normal bladder. Look at that. Good detrusa. Okay, good detrusa, stable, compliant bladder. Okay. Filling phase is. You can see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The important thing is here is you're not looking at obstruction here, you're looking at how the blood is behaving. Yes, at the moment the blood is behaving well. Remember, the bladder can change its behavior also after surgery, any pelvic surgery. In fact, any surgery is a 10% rate of de novo detrusor overactivity in patients. You do an abdominal operation, the fellow can get overactive bladder. So it's important to remember that. Anyway. Right. Will you do end to end anastomosis? Lower it is normal. Suture is there, end to end arrestment. Sir, uh, there, are some, uh, there are some gray areas, and if we rule out that. Uh, gray area. Gray area. Sir, I will go with ureteric green plant. Ureteric green plant? Yes, sir. Lower ureteric. Lower ureteric. Uh, lower ureteric structure is there. Capacity is around uh, something 300 or 280, 300, 300 something, sir. So, yes. the compliance is good, sir. Compliance is uh, good and the uh, 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 pressures are not high. So, I will go with uh, the ureteric green plant, which uh, if if provided, we can do a SOAS hitch at that time, sir. If, okay. if it is not coming, then what you will do? So, what will you do? Uh, yes, sir. If is not, it's not coming still, then what will you do? If is also may, is not making the ureter come nicely to the bladder, what will you do? So we have options of bori flap in that case. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Go and read up, man. Yes. Me, what time is said to me how the changes in radiation, how it can cause obstructive neuropathy uh, mechanisms? Thank you, sir. Right. Hello. What are you, man? Thank you, man. It's a whole feature. You've done the workout for this feature. It's not possible. That's why these glasses are so that you can have a total. Complete. Clear, huh? That's it. Yeah, the blessing on that.